in this week's episode of Mod Mondays, we're going to be installing this 36 inch emergency strobe light bar on this 2022 Toyota Tacoma YRD Sport. Let's go. All the products in this installation are from Amazon and is aimed to add an emergency light bar to your Tacoma. I work in the construction field and I wanted a more attractive strobe light option instead of these common beacons. This comes in various color combinations but I chose the amber color for my case. I'll link these in the description box below. The light bar came from LEJX store and was packaged in bubble wrap to avoid damage during shipping. It comes with this instruction manual, all the hardware you'll need for the installation, this heavy duty power switch, and the 36 inch light bar itself. This comes with 32 ultra bright LED warning lights and these suction cup brackets if you intend to install these inside your Tacoma. I'm installing mine on my Prince roof rack so I won't be needing these. Before starting the installation, let's quickly prep the light bar and go over some important information for this project. For ease of installation, first disconnect the power switch from the power wire by disconnecting these tabs. Put this aside and grab a marker and a Phillips screwdriver and remove the two L brackets on the side of the light bar. You're going to need to unscrew the two Phillips screws to remove these brackets. Repeat this on the other side, then remove one of the end caps so we can access the sliding bolts in the back of the light bar. You're going to need to remove these four mini screws to take the cap off. Careful not to lose these screws during the process. After this, remove two of the six sliding mounting bolts and set this aside for future use. Then simply reattach the end cap and secure it with the four mini screws you removed previously. After prepping the light bar, let's now start this install by first installing the mounting brackets on the back of the light bar. Grab one of the L brackets you removed previously and install it in the back using the two sliding screws. We're going to need to adjust this bracket up and down to center it to the crossbars of your roof rack. Grab your marker and head over to your roof rack. Then place the L bracket on your roof rack and mark the center line of the crossbars on the L bracket. This will make sure that the 36 inch light bar is vertically centered on the crossbars when we install this later. Then transfer the marks to the back of the brackets and install this on the light bar. Line up the marks with the two sliding screws and secure this with the included washer and lock nuts. After this, use a 516 inch socket and hand tighten this for a secure fit. Then repeat the steps for the other L bracket. The next step in this installation is to install the 36 inch light bar on your roof rack crossbars. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver and two 1 4 inch screws and washers. I'm using the extras that came with my Prince roof rack. Start by adjusting or adding a sliding T-nut on your crossbar tracks. We need this to secure the 1 4 inch screws to the roof rack. Grab your light bar and simply line up the mounting brackets with the sliding T-nuts. Then add the washer and the screw and use your Phillips screwdriver to tighten this. Please note not to tighten this completely as we'll need to adjust the slide bar left or right on the next steps. Repeat this on the other side then center your light bar. I use the end of the fourth light bar assembly and the middle of the Tacoma's third brake light as a guide to center this. After this is centered, lock the light bar into place by completely tightening the 1 4 inch screws we installed previously. When that's complete, untie the rest of the power cable and run this through the bottom of the roof rack. I'll cable manage this later. 
after installing the light bar on your roof rack, we'll now need to run the power wires from the truck's interior into the engine bay. If you haven't done this previously, you're going to need a sharp cutter for this step. This is required so we can power our light bar. We need to pull this carpet back and around the cutouts and slice a small hole on the rubber grommet about the size of the wire that you're going to run into the engine bay. Since I've installed other accessories before, mine already has a hole. Simply insert the wire in the hole and this should come out of the engine bay. Then open your hood and start pulling the slack out of the wire from the engine bay. We're going to need to run this wire up to our roof rack through this plastic panel cover. All the way up to this corner panel here. Through this hole. Then run the wire through the side of this weather stripping and up to the roof rack below the crossbars. After this, simply reconnect the two wires back together ensuring the tabs click in properly for a secured fit. The next step in this installation is to cable manage the power wires and secure this on your roof rack. Grab your pry tool and carefully push the wires behind this weather stripping. Patience is required in this step as the weather stripping can be stiff. After this, grab zip ties and some snips and secure the wires using the holes on the side of your roof rack. When cable managing, Make sure that the wire connection is hidden below the crossbars for added weather protection. Then cut off the excess zip ties and complete the cable management. After cable managing, an optional step is to extend the power cables in the interior of the Tacoma. This step is not necessary if you're using the front 12 volt socket. For me, I installed a rear power outlet that I'll be using for the light bar. You're gonna need wire cutters, wire snippers, connectors, heat shrink tubing, and a torture heat gun. We're gonna need to extend this cable and run it through the side plastic panel. Start by cutting this wire using a sharp wire cutter. Then carefully strip the black wire to expose the three small wires inside. Grab a heat shrink tube and place the tubing on the black wire before attaching wire connectors to the three small wires. After this, strip the three wires on both the original power wire and the extension and attach wire connectors. I'm using these solder seal wire connectors, which will allow for a secured connection as the heat will cause the ring solder to melt and connect the two wires together. Then use your torch or a heat gun to apply heat to secure the connection. Then adjust the heat shrink tubing, cover the wire connectors, and shrink this into place by applying some more heat. When this is done, simply run the wires under the side plastic panel. Then repeat these steps to reconnect the power cable to the back. If you're enjoying this video so far, please smash that like and subscribe button to support the channel. The last step in this installation is to plug the power on the 12 volt socket and test the 36 inch light bar and its 13 strobe light flash patterns. Turn your truck to accessory mode, then plug the power switch onto your power source and simply switch it on. As you can see, the strobe light bar works great. As for its other patterns, here are the options. These are the 13 patterns and as you can see, it's bright, very versatile, with multiple directional options that can be used depending on your situation. This will be great for site visits, emergency breakdowns, and rescue situations. 
try the patterns on and see what fits best for your situation and enjoy your brand new 36 inch strobe light bar. That's it for this week's episode of Mod Mondays. Let me know what you think of this strobe light bar install. If you found value in this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and press that bell notification so you don't miss any of our future videos. See you in the next one.